Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the flip through of the first half of my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec. This is the January through June book and I'm going to be going through every page in my Hobonichi Cousin of Vec and kind of briefly talk about what I did, if I liked it, if I didn't like it, all of my spreads and all of that. So if you would like to see what my final look of my January to June Hobonichi Cousin of Vec for 2024 is, then go ahead and keep watching. So the first thing I do want to do is kind of do a comparison of thickness. So this is the final thickness of the January through June uh, Hobonichi Cousin. And then this is let me take this little out. There you go. This is the thickness of a fresh Hobonichi Cousin Avec that I just started. This is J it is now July the 5th. So I only have one weekly spread done and five daily spreads done in this book. So you can kind of see the thickness comparison. So definitely am loving having a Hobonichi Cousin Avec because the original cousin, the full year cousin, you would have one book and it would just get thicker and thicker and thicker and thicker. That's what happened in 2023. And I'm really liking having two books because it's just easier for me to write in because you don't have to worry about the bulk. So comparison wise, a brand new Avec versus a completed half year Avec. Starting with the yearly, uh, like a year at a glance. So I use this as a index. I basically just kind of flag the days that have a specific like important daily spread topic. And then I have these little gray dots and that indicates that there is a picture in the back on that specific day. Um, just that way it's easier for me to kind of figure out what's going on. So if it's, you know, July now and I'm like, whoa, what was, when did I, Zoe lose a tooth? I can look through here and I say, oh, she lost a tooth on February the 9th and there's a picture of it. And then we have, you know, the high school acceptance was on the 16th. There's no picture, but I know that on February the 16th, my daughter got accepted to a magnet school for her high school year. So I like this as an index more than I liked it as like a habit tracker and things like that that I use in 2023. So I did really enjoy this. This I am continuing into my July to December EVEC because I really did think this is a useful use of this particular spread. And now we're going to go to all of the monthly spread. So I pretty much use this just as a quick little glance of what my month looks like. And I have very minimal type stickers. I primarily use the Coffee Monsters Co. monthly stickers for the Hobonichi Cousin. And so they all kind of look similar. Like I said, I don't really have a whole lot on here. This is just a kind of a quick glance of what my month is going to be appointment wise. I did end up for the month of May. I did get my first kit of Hubman and Chub Girl. I got monthly kits and weekly kits in the month of May. So this was the first spread that I've ever used of theirs. I really do enjoy it. I liked this Hub Month Hubman and Chub Girl. Their monthly kits allow you to have the like day numbers are part of their kits, whereas Coffee Monsters Co. does not have that. So depending on kind of what you're looking for, Hubman and Shop Girl might be a little bit better for you if you like more of the stickers and then you want more of the like labels, more of the big pictures. There's just different opportunities. So I use Hubman and Shop Girl for the month of May. And then I went back to the month of June. You can kind of see the difference between the two. So this is a June Coffee Monsters Co. spread, and this is a May Coffee Monsters or a Hub Man and Jump Girl spread. So, but that's kind of what my monthly spreads look like. And I'm continuing that same theme going into July and the rest of the year. So, for the rest of 2024, it's kind of going to look very similar to either this page or the Hub Man and Chub Girl. Um, my spreads are going to look either like this or like this because I do like the overall look. And now we're going to go into my weekly spreads. I'm not going to take a lot of time on these because a lot of these I have playing with me's on my channel. I do a lot of playing with me's 
um, showing me setting up my spreads. So if you're interested on any of these spreads, definitely check out my past plan with me videos. But for the most part, I use my Hobonichi Cousin as a functional planner. So I like to see where I'm at, how long I'm there, what I'm doing, and kind of all of that kind of thing. I like to see it very functionally. And so a lot of times my spreads are, I'm working from, you know, the times I'll have like the little time blocks and I'll have like what meetings I'm in. If there's after work, what I'm doing, I have my reading down at the bottom. I track my sleep, my workouts, and like an important like to-do list. And I use stickers to kind of offset some of the text. So that way it makes it a little bit easier whenever I'm looking back at my planner. I don't like to see just a bunch of words. I like to see the little pictures that go along with it because it kind of clues me in to what happened in that particular week. Um, and then I typically use washi down at the bottom because the Hobonichi goes from 5 a.m. to 4 a.m. So you get a full 24 hours on each vertical day. But I'm usually not as awake anytime past 2 a.m. is usually the latest that I'm up. Um, so to fill the extra space down at the bottom, I usually have washi. It just kind of is a, a nice little space filler. But you can see all of the different spreads. I typically follow the same look week after week. It just, I found what works for me. I really enjoy the look of it. It's very minimalist, but it gives just enough to let me know what's happening. So everything pretty much follows the same look. I do change it up a little bit, um, but for the most part, it's usually pretty standard. So, and I usually also stick to more neutral colors. This is where I changed it up a little bit. I did have a little section to kind of separate 9 p.m. and after, and I had like a little section for my reading and then this down here is my eating because I was trying to keep track of making sure I'm not eating too many bad foods um, just because I was getting ready for like blood work and trying to get a, a better handle on eating healthy and eating better so I did end up changing a little bit on this week but as you can see most of my spreads are usually neutral kind of minimalistic and um very like in this instance i had very little stickers it was primarily just tombow and that's it this was me using my first hubman and chub girl weekly spread this is definitely much more on the sticker heavy side for my spreads um, but i did really enjoy it it wasn't too bad um, or too over the top for me i still was able to see everything that i was doing and it wasn't too busy for my my brain to clue in on what happened during that week um so that's kind of the you'll see this is much more sticker heavy whereas this is very pen slash marker heavy so it's kind of the two levels of my spreads and then i do sometimes for this week i changed up the color of my pen so i went to like a blue um, like a blue gray type pen, but for the most part the pen that I use is the Muji in 0 0.38 That is my go-to. That is the one that I love the absolute most when it comes to the Hobonichi Cousin. It's just perfect. This was another spread for Hubman and Chub Girl, and then this was another kind of pen and a Modi heavy week changed up gave it a little bit more darkness to my spreads for this week. This was like a, a pink pen that I got on a, um, like a group of nine. I ended up buying a nine set piece of the Muji pens and decided I wanted to use this week with my pink one. And then that is the end of the weekly spreads. This next page is a blank page, but I'm not gonna show it because I have some like banking information because I do like to have, there's like a blank page in between the weekly spreads and the daily spreads. And on that particular page, I like to have like starting balances of my bank account, ending balances of my bank account, my subscriber accounts at the beginning of the year, at the middle of the year, so I can kind of see the growth and how things have changed. So I don't want to show this page because it does have some, some of that information on it, but we will go ahead, go ahead and jump to my daily spreads. So I do a daily journal and I will say every single page in my Hobonichi Cousin has something on it. I try to fill up a page, but sometimes it just doesn't work. Um, so 
we, we try to get there, but some days it's just, you don't have a lot to say. So, but I do use my Canon Ivy. This is my absolute go-to. If you, I did a video on my 30 favorite Amazon purchases or Amazon, Amazon products that I use in my planner. This is literally number one. Like this is my die hard, always with me. Love this thing. This is a portable printer and it prints on stickers and it is amazing. So I do have, I try to put pictures that coincide with kind of what I'm writing on um, that particular day. So this was the first of the year. So I wanted to take a starting picture to show what my daughter's look like on January 1. This was me starting uh, my workout again. And then I kind of go and just talk about, I have this little section here, which goes through my, um, like what I have planned for that day and then my social media. And then I just kind of talk about whatever. I use little stickers. I use washi to fill up the spots. Um, I do also have a monthly flip through on my channel. So if you would like to see, you know, a little bit more in depth on some of the things that I have in my daily spreads. You can check out that, those videos, but for the most part, I just talk about what's happening during my day. And sometimes like this day, I didn't have hardly anything to write about. This was like two little small paragraphs. And then some days I, you know, have much more. It just kind of depends on what's going on. So my daughter's 14th birthday, we had school was closed um, because of like weather and tornadoes. Actually, this one I think was more snow, like the potential for ice. That was why school was closed. And then I had some pictures of what it looked like after like the ice came through. In my area, we got all ice. We were out of, <laughs> my kids were out of school for a full week because there was like, it, the ice was so thick. There was hardly any snow. It looked like snow, but it wasn't. It was a sheet of ice. Um, so they had a week off of school because of that. And then we have Nothing really big happening on any of these days. We had no school again for whatever particular reason we had. The 24th and the 25th, I obviously didn't have a whole lot. So this one, I think I was working, I had two days where I was having to go on site and work on site. And because of that, I was actually in a two day conference. And so because of the conference, I couldn't like bring my planner with me. So I didn't have that with me. I didn't have it, you know, handy or anything. So I just didn't have anything to write. So for the 24th, I just kind of wrote down the schedule, like what the plans were, what I was going to do. And then the 25th, I said schedule for today is the same as yesterday. And thought of the day was my office has the most uncomfortable chairs. My back is so sore. So you can see I was thoroughly miserable with my being on site for two days straight. And then we have on the 26th, this was a, um, I had to take my car in for some maintenance. And the other thing I really like about having the Hobonichi Cousin with these daily spreads and using this as like a daily journal is I can tip in, and this is just a sticky note of some things like maintenance wise that I could refer back to later. And it just gives me a good place to kind of put those thoughts and I could easily refer back to it. Whereas if it was just a sticky note on my desk, I might completely forget if I, you know, wanted to find the price of something, I would have to physically call again to remember what it was. Whereas here I have at least an idea of what the quote was in January. Um, so I just like being able to tip in important things as, you know, the day goes on. So, and then at the end of every month, uh, I end up putting on the like the cover page for that month, I'll do a printout of my, the pages that I read for that month. And this is like a graphic that came out of Storygraph, but it has like a daily log of how many pages I read per day. And then I have the list of all of the books that I read along with their rating, which you can't see because I had to print this so, 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 so small. Um, but I do have all of the books and their rating. So if I wanted to know how many books I read for the month or what books it was that I read, then I have this page. We have not a whole lot happened in February. I also do like to have, if I get any stickers orders in, I'll try to put down um, the little, whoever packed my order along with what I purchased or what I received, just so I can kind of keep track of my purchases. And we have my husband's birthday and then my daughter lost a tooth. Uh, Super Bowl Sunday, Chiefs versus the 49ers. I watched that game. And then we had, um, I re-inked my fountain pen. So I did like a little swatch of the ink just so I could make sure it was flowing after I re-inked it. 
Valentine's Day, had some flowers. This was the notification of um, my daughter that got accepted into the magnet school. And then I did some news, um, some rankings for that particular school from US News Report, the 2023 to 2024 ranking and her school that she got into is number four in all of Alabama high schools. It's number one in Huntsville because we live in the suburbs of Huntsville. Um, it's number one in Huntsville um, high schools. It's number one in Huntsville Metro high schools. And it's number 81 in the magnets, like all of the magnet schools in the nation. It's ranked number 81. I think it's actually higher in the new updated review. So she is I'm going to be going to a really great school. I'm hoping she'll have a lot of fun and she'll really enjoy going to that school. So then we had apparently my husband on the 23rd got COVID again. And or actually my daughter, I think. Actually, they both had COVID. So my husband got COVID for the second time. My daughter got COVID for the first time. I have yet to get COVID. But now that I say that, I'm unfortunately probably going to get it. Um, so yay to me. I got a new Kindle. So this is another reason why I like to have stickers because it kind of clues me in on what happened during that day. So then we have someone was sick, sick again, tired, achy, it looks like. And then my husband was on a hunting trip. And then my daughter had a birthday party with one of her friends, worked on site, said I don't want to be here. Worked on site again, unfortunately. I usually end up having to go on site only once um, once uh, a week, but there are a lot of instances where I have to go in multiple times. It just kind of depends on what's going on. And then we have on the 8th, I got a new couch upstairs in my office. So I took a picture of what my original couch and my layout looked like. And then I have my new couch here, which actually pulls out to a um, queen size bed. So it's very nice whenever people are sick or something happens and I'm snoring a whole lot or my husband's snoring a whole lot, I have some place to go that lets me be able to sleep comfortably instead of having to lay on a little small um, love seat type couch. And my daughter went to um, the range. She went and did some more shooting. She hasn't been to the range in a while. Then we have laundry day. I don't like to wash, dry, and fold. I especially don't like to fold and I really don't like putting clothes away. I don't know what it is about that, but don't like it. I did change up kind of my layout for my daily spreads in March. So originally I had um, today in social media and it was just from this section and then this whole bottom section I turned into a journal entry. I decided instead I was going to change it to a little section for today, a little section for social media, a tracker for the books that I read and the pages that I read and then my meals. And then this was my journal entry and I didn't really care for it. Like I liked it, but then you're going to see, I went right back to, um, what I had before. I just, it was good to try something different, but it just wasn't anything that I liked. I also, in the month of March, was going back and forth between whether I wanted to write in my journal with fountain pens. I, this was the Pentel Klena in 0 0.4. I did end up having, this was back to fountain pens. I think I had, this was the Sarasa Dry in 04. So I was, I was testing out old pens that I like to have in 2023. And I just really didn't, I just, I, I, I like what I like and the pens that I used last year are just not where it's at now. The 30th, I woke up with barely a voice, so I just ran errands. I tried not to talk. I finished a book and hoping for tomorrow being better. We had Easter. Didn't really have a whole lot. You know, with it being Easter, I really wasn't sitting at my desk. Tried a different fountain pen ink. This was the Diamine Bilberry, a little purple. And then we had some storms. Torn this is actually, I think, was tornadoes. Yeah, there was an EF2 tornado that went through um, a town about 10 miles away. So we, luckily we didn't get anything, but it could have been worse. This was the total solar eclipse. I did not see the solar eclipse. I was working and I did not have glasses and I just, you know, whatever. I did not see it, but luckily my, both of my girls at school were given glasses and they spent a bunch of time outside looking at the solar eclipse. So they got to see it. I did not. I got a picture of what it does though, <laughs> just so I can remember. And we had, um, I apparently was not feeling it. I was sore. My belly was not feeling great. So that was awesome. And then 
work on sites on Thursday. This was me trying out the Uni Jet Stream, which is like a multi pen that I have. Um, and then I also had, um, I used the black for normal writing and then I used the red for uh, just kind of additional notes for what that was, you know, whatever I wrote. But I went right back to something else. This was the Sarasa Mark on. Again, really didn't care for that. Uh, just wasn't my favorite pen. Work on sites. This is where also where I started changing up kind of what my look of my daily journal looks like. So now I'm starting to put like kind of headers for each day just so I can kind of see what was supposed to go on instead of like this. I sometimes didn't know exactly what was happening for that day. Um, but I decided for this, if I knew something big was going to happen or what I was going to talk about, um, what I was planning on talking about, I would go ahead and just have like a little header. So this one was running errands on the Saturday. And then we had, I was being tired. So I had a whole little paragraph of me being tired back to work. February was the beginning of my dental chaos. I went to the dentist a total of, I think seven times within like a month and a half because of a crown issue. So I had, this was day one of my dental work. So you, you, there's going to be a lot of dental things that you're going to see in the com upcoming pages. But I also had a, another package that came through from Coffee Monsters Co. I had another little tip in. This was my notes because my youngest had um, gone through this like expansive testing procedure and we had met with her doctor and had like went over her test results. So this was just me rot like jotting down quick notes while I was there. Um, so I have them tipped in. So if I wanted to refer back to it, I have it. Um, then we have the 25th was me working on sites. Thank goodness, thank, go thank goodness it's Friday. And then we had the beginning of the weekend. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. I decided to change it up because I think these days I didn't have anything really that I was going to talk about. So I decided to just break it out into like morning entries and afternoon entries. I had a leadership on site. This was another like three day on site day. So we had another leadership on site. And I was back on site, I think, on this day as well. Happy Friday. There was a birthday party, shopping trips. Ugh, it's Monday already. I have a lot of Monday like frustrations. I definitely have that. Um, I did have on May the, May the 7th, I did buy a brand new camera lens for recording because I also have a reading channel. And so I bought a specific lens that is better for vlogging. Whereas the, the lens that I'm using now is much more suited for like zooming and is good for top down. Um, so I bet I bought me a new camera lens for my other channel. So that came in on the 7th. On site again. I was on liberal leave because we had really bad thunderstorms and tornadoes that went through. So um, people didn't have power. So we were basically school was closed and people were told just to stay home because you couldn't come in anyways. My daughter had a first grade performance. I had to go and I was very nerve wracking because my daughter doesn't read very well and she had to get with her mic and try to read something in front of everybody. And I just, I wanted to go and help, but luckily they had other little kids that who read a little bit better and were able to help her. So that was so nice running errands. We had mother's day, Monday sucks. Like I said, there's gonna be a lot of Monday sucks days. I just, my feeling on every single Monday hump day, this was another visit to the dentist because the permanent crown that got put in my teeth cracked right down the middle after being in my tooth for or being in my mouth for I don't know probably three days happy Friday rainy Saturday running errands setting up a garden back to work dentist again and then we had um, the first grade ceremony and then here I had just you know hump day and two more days until I go on leave back on site another tooth issue then I had a sore throat so May was not was not a good day. Had a nail appointment on this day. I said, good evening. The girls and I went shopping today, not much to report. So while it's not a, a full page, it's definitely kind of lets me know what's going on during that day. And I don't, I don't hate it. So sometimes that's just life. Memorial day, my tooth fell out again. My ter my permanent, not my, not my permanent, my temporary tooth that I had, it fell out again. I went on my first day of leave back to the dentist and my 45th birthday. It was also the day that I got my second permanent crown put in that same tooth. And luckily it is still in my mouth today. So yay. I'm still got PST on, uh, or I still have PTSD of 
this tooth falling out. I'm, I'm fully intending that the, food, the tooth is going to fall out at some point. I just, I have this feeling, although it's irrational to think that way because it's supposed to last forever, but I just, I have things going on. I just, I, I can't make myself think that's actually going to happen. Uh, we had the last day of leave. I also swatched all of the Muji pens that I had um, delivered. Had a June. How is it already June? How is it already June? Dreading work. You can see I also, my today and my social media start de dramatically. Um, I just, toward the end of the, because I knew I was going to be done with this planner, it got very hard for me to um, keep track of things. I got very lax, unfortunately. So another order. I got some new washies. This was my subscription order. We had So Tired on site again. My daughter was going to my dad's house. We had a weekend. We went, took my um, youngest to the movies for the first time. She did not like it. Shopping day, Monday, beach vacation. This would have been the first day that I go on vacation if I would have gone on vacation with my sister like I did last year, but I did not go this year. And I'm actually kind of glad because right around this time, there was the whole issue with the sharks in Panama City Beach, which is where we were planning on going to the beach. And so going to the beach and not being able to go to the ocean or not wanting to go in the ocean is not something I would have been excited to spend thousands of dollars to go on vacation to hang out in a hotel. So glad I didn't go, but I still really would have liked to be able to go to the beach this year. Working on sites, I had a little God of War, one of the books that I read, um, had a little paragraph on that. My daughter, my youngest, had her first day of swim class. She's doing so much better swimming. Shopping day, Father's Day, this was my daughter swimming, showing her actually going under, like putting her face under the water and kicking, and it was amazing seeing that. We had a book club, a new ID card, Juneteenth holiday. I went to a Catherine Center, an author meet and greet, which was amazing. Loved it. I did my cost review. This is, I work in finance, in like a financial field, I should say. And I have to annually do a review of my entire portfolio. And so I did that on the 20th and it went very well. Hardly any major issues or action items. So I'm very, very, very glad that it is done and I can push until next year. And then I have to worry about it all over again. We had this week, my daughter went to a um, rafting trip with her friends. I have never been rafting, but she has now. So she had a lot of fun. It was, it was fun. And then this is my last week in the EVEC. So I decided to write with my pink Muji pen again. We had a summer camp with my daughter. On this day, I wrote somehow I am off on my journal pages. See yesterday notes for today. I think I never updated Monday due to being busy at work. So something happened and I realized when I was trying to write my Wednesday notes that the pages were off. So I at least kind of had something here to explain what was going on. So whatever. Today is not going to be a good day. Had another on-site day. This was me, um, had some pictures of the watermelons that we have in my garden. So this was a picture of a watermelon that was taken on Tuesday. And then this is the same watermelon on Friday. So it went from an itty bitty little marble size to like a substantial size in like four days. I did not realize watermelon grew that fast. So I had to take a picture of that. And then I have this one says June is almost over. You can barely see because the Tombow that I'm using is very, very light last day in this book and a bunch of recordings. So I ended up doing a bunch of recording for my reading channel and my planning channel on the 30th. And then that is the last day in this EVEC. I do have the other pages in the back that I am not using. So everything else in this planner is not used. So that is the end of this video. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. For those who have subscribed to my channel over the last month or so, um, if there's any videos that you would be interested in seeing, those of you who are new, definitely drop me a comment down below. Let me know what you'd be excited to see. Do you like to see Amazon purchases? Do you like to see fountain pen videos? Do you like to see playing with me's monthly spreads? Like what, you know, for those who people who are new, or even if you're not new, if you've been around for a while, thank you so much for subscribing and being around for a while. But if there are any topics or any videos that you would be interested to see, definitely drop me a comment down below and I can see if I can include that in my monthly 
you know, recording schedule because I would definitely want to make sure I get the videos to you that are important to you. So with that, thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed, please make sure you do so. I would greatly appreciate it and I will see everybody in my next video. Bye!